We're hiring. Now all we need is you. Becoming a disability examiner. Is this the position for me? Hello, I'm Justin. So you want to know more about an exciting and challenging career as a disability examiner? Well, you've come to the right place. Let's start with the basics. Depending on where you reside, the position may be called by other names, such as disability specialist, disability analyst, or counselor. As a disability examiner, you're a major part of a team entrusted with determining if a claimant is medically eligible to receive Social Security disability benefits. Common actions and routines can be established in your day. However, no two claims and no two days are the same. Each claim represents a unique individual that needs your expertise and attention. To give you an example of what you can expect as a member of our team, let's send it over to Carlos to show us a glimpse into her day as a disability examiner. Hello, and thank you for joining me. I'm Carlos, a disability examiner at a Disability Determination Services Office, or DDS for short. At the DDS, we specialize in adjudicating disability claims for Social Security. Disability claims are filed online or at local Social Security offices when a person believes they are unable to work due to physical and or mental conditions that have lasted or are expected to last for at least 12 consecutive months or result in death. One of the things I like most about my job is that I get to plan the flow of my day. I begin each workday by logging on to my computer, reviewing emails, and checking my voicemail. Because we manage a caseload of different types of disability claims, I open my disability case processing system at the start of each day to see if any new claims were assigned to me. I want to work my new claims as soon as possible, so I review the application and send requests for records to the doctors, hospitals, schools, or other facilities the claimant listed on their application. After reviewing and taking necessary action on my new claims, I review my pending claims to see if we receive the information needed to make a decision and process the claim. Customer service plays a huge role in our work, so it's important that I plan time during my day to make and return phone calls to my claimants. This lets me address their concerns, answer any questions they may have, or clarify information they've already provided. Establishing rapport with the claimant early in the process allows me to communicate with them and educate them on the medical review process, as well as obtain information needed for their claim. I may also need to contact their doctors for more information. We work in a largely electronic environment, so much of my day is spent navigating various systems that use smart technology to guide me through the adjudication process. I also analyze medical and non-medical documents, review policy, write medical summaries, or draft vocational skills assessments. Because there are so many things to balance, it's important that I manage my time wisely, use computer technology efficiently, and process new information quickly. As a disability examiner, I'm a crucial part of an adjudicative team. At any time, I may consult with our in-house medical doctors, psychiatrists, or psychologists to discuss complicated medical issues. I also work with other DDS personnel to meet critical case needs, obtain advice from vocational experts, or discuss complex cases with my supervisor. Perhaps the hardest part about this job is that sometimes interpreting Social Security disability policy isn't so clear-cut. When a complicated case takes me to that gray area, I remember that I am not on an island, and I can consult with our team to reach the appropriate outcome for my claimant. We all know someone who's been affected by a medical condition or perhaps is still going through difficult times because of it. I've always wanted to do more to help people with physical or mental challenges, and in this position, I can. I'm a decision maker, policy interpreter, investigator, and customer service representative all rolled into one. It brings me joy to know that I get to wear multiple hats and make a difference in the lives of so many. 
I want to leave you with one final thought. Although you may start out as a disability examiner trainee, each DDS has multiple career advancement opportunities. With a solid work ethic and unbridled tenacity, not only can you make a difference in the lives of others, but you can also make your own career aspirations come true. I'm very glad I joined this team. You'll be glad too. Thank you, Carlos, for showing us a sample of your day as a disability examiner. Your day looks both busy and fulfilling as you interact with numerous people to ensure excellent customer service to those who need a decision regarding their claim. I assure you, it's not just Carlos who loves her job. I have several other folks who are eager to share their insights with you as well. I've only been a disability examiner for about two years, but every day I feel like I make a difference. The work we do here is extremely important. We really do help people lead more independent lives. I like the variety in my job because there's always something new and exciting to learn. The fact that we have a great team working for the same great cause is extremely fulfilling for me. Hello. I'm a supervisor at a DDS now, but I started out as a disability examiner trainee. What I remember most is that it was a challenging position, but that's also one of the things that I enjoy most about it. I have a thirst for knowledge and love problem solving, so it was right up my alley. Now that you know more about the disability examiner position, here are some of the many benefits you'll enjoy, followed by requirements for the position. Competitive salary, potential for flexible work shift, potential to work from home, paid on-the-job training and long-term mentorship, paid holidays, vacation and sick leave, career advancement opportunities, relocation opportunities, health insurance, and retirement benefits. In most DDS locations, no specialized experience is required. Education requirements ranging from high school to specialized postgraduate degrees vary from DDS to DDS, depending on the state or territory to which you are applying. The ability to speak a second language is a plus, but is not required in most DDS locations. As we wrap up, let's talk about one last very important item. The DDS's stance on diversity, equity, inclusion, and accessibility in our hiring practices. DDSs are an equal opportunity employer with a history of promoting diversity, equity, inclusion, and accessibility in our hiring practices. To honor and reflect the diversity of our customers, all qualified persons will be considered for employment without regard to race, color, religion, sex, sexual orientation, gender identity, marital or veteran status, national origin, age, political affiliation, disability, or any other factor unrelated to the essential functions of the job. To apply for this amazing position, call the Human Resources Department of the Disability Determination Services Site of Interest. Please note that although you may receive a conditional offer of employment, you are not considered a permanent employee until you have passed suitability and credentialing requirements. The DDS will provide you with more information regarding these requirements when a conditional job offer is made. We hope this video has provided you with a clear picture of the disability examiner position and look forward to seeing you very soon.